I was full, and today I'm old man with my metal parts bender, and I'm going to talk about folding an angle. So using the sharp angle folding device, which I put back in the right place. We're going to talk about positioning for folding an angle. There's another video if you want to look at how to set it up for folding around a roller. This isn't it. This is about folding a sharp angle. Just the same as when I talked about the roller, though, hopefully you're going to have a dimension of where the fold is going to be. So you're going to have your piece of metal and you're going to have that point there, which is your fold, and you're going to have a dimension from there to there. And you're also going to have an angle that you want to bend it to. So let's say... I want to bend two inches from the end of this steel. I measure my two inches. I mark it. Incidentally, this is welder's chalk, if you're wondering. Uh, just Google it. It's a thing, welder's chalk. It's great because... It acts like normal chalk works on metal. It's more tough and you can sharpen it up just by scraping it on a bit of concrete or using a file or a bit of emery or whatever you like. It's good stuff. Welder's chalk. Go get some. There's my mark. Two inches from the end of the material. I've got my bender ready set up. And I'll simply move my mark across until it lines up with the point of the folding attachment. So hopefully on the phone you can just see it lined up there. And then I apply pressure to the arm. about right and we're all good pull the pin out to release it yeah, not bad square enough and if I get my steel roll my tape my steel measure there's my bend two inches from the end if I wanted two inches to the outer dimension, then I'd have to do it at the bend point an inch and seven eighths. So I'd have to move the inside of the bend back to allow for the thickness of the material. But that's it. Two inches from the end. It's probably a, uh, that's about right. I doubt you'll see it on that camera. See if I can get it on the phone. There you go. Two inches from the end. And it's as simple as that. Just make your line. Line it up with the sharp angle bender attachment. And apply some pressure. There's a lot of waffle in the manual about, oh, you've got to set it up with it pivoting in one of these other holes and sticking out the end and you pull it round from here. No, you don't. Set it up any way around you like that gets the roller and the sharp angle or a pin or whatever in the right position. Have a play about with it. Experiment with it. If you've got some scrap metal, then just have a go until you find out exactly how it works best for you so there you have it hope that helps see you in the next one bye